Hello everyone, artist Charles Wolf here. Let's do another painting today together. Starting today with the cobalt blue, titanium white, a touch of the Mars black, and a touch of that cadmium red. Nice big round brush today, moppy brush. Put it up here in the top right corner where I've marked out some of these clouds in a sketchy pencil. The most important element was getting the horizon line in with my pencil. Work my way through the composition quickly with loose strokes and now we're going to paint it in together. I've added more white as I go along here to lighten up my clouds. This painting is based on a photograph that I took, oh, a couple years ago. It was a stormy day over the Atlantic Ocean. bit of that black, make some darker storm clouds. And the light was so vibrant and the water had kind of a grayish cast to it. It's a very beautiful day, very windy day out on the beach. More of the gray, touch of the red, very dark charcoal color. That red warms up the gray, but not too much or you'll push it purple. A little bit of light blue, blue and white, always changing my color and my mixture slightly as I'm painting along, more white, more blue, to get that variation. And we'll start to blend this together. Using a big round brush, a moppy brush like I am today, creates some beautiful textures in my sky, helps me keep everything flowing and fast and loose. white. White's going to be our bridge color. It's great in that it softens everything, especially the edges, and it will help to translate one section to the next smoothly. Really going for some subtle gradations and some nice blending of our colors. Lots of white here in the top. Notice that as I reload my brush, I'm never cleaning it. I'm allowing the colors to blend together. It helps make the transition smoother. So for this step, I'm going to keep going back again and again to the white, but I'm not going to clean my brush until now. By clean, I mean take a paper towel, take off as much of the excess as you can, and even that doesn't need to be perfect. Bringing in some of the yellow highlights here, very subtly, yellow and white to make that color. Right back to my blue-gray mixture. A little bit darker over here on the left-hand side. These storm clouds are really coming in. Blending this all together quickly. More of that gray. Just tossing this in very quickly. It's not a lot of thinking that has to go on for this step. Just match your colors, where's your areas of light, where should it be darker, and blend. More white down here. Again, we want it to be lighter the closer we are to that horizon line. A lot of my thinking took place when I was sketching. Once I'm actually working on the piece, I don't have to think quite as hard. Touch of the red in that color. Lots of white, mostly white, quick base layer. We're gonna come back over in just a second and fill that in. More white up here, a bit of the canvas is showing through. I want these clouds to be a little more pronounced. Just blending. 
Okay, let's make some light rose color. You do that with titanium white, cadmium yellow, and a touch of cadmium red with a clean brush. Relatively clean. Again, I'm just wiping it off on some paper towel and going back to work. I'm not taking a lot of time to clean these off. Get a nice pink color, touch of blues in that. We'll add a little more blue, make it more purple. Lots of white in that color. More white, just to make this transition smoother. And we blend upwards into the blue above. More white, make it more milky looking. Lots of color on my brush so I can just play that upwards in a few spots, pull the composition together, some highlights and accents of pink. Grabbing a smaller filbert brush, here's some titanium white and cadmium yellow. Make a nice light yellow for the sunrise. And we're gonna play this in at the bottom of these clouds. Notice how loose I'm keeping my brushwork in this painting. I really wanted to have a very painterly style, very loose impression of the piece. More titanium white here. Nothing is tight, nothing is exact, it's very flowy, lots of brushwork, very visible. Really like this style for pieces like this, at times verging on sort of abstracted oceanscape today. contrast. Got to be careful to not make these look like trees. Very important mix here. Dark gray, green color, cobalt blue, Mars black, cadmium yellow, titanium white, black there. Definitely need that yellow to pull out the green hints, and we'll start to put in the horizon line. I'm going to pull the brush horizontally to make this straight as possible. Paint starts to break here. I don't have enough of it on my brush. I'm going to go back in a minute once I get some more mixed together. I decided to darken this whole thing with more of the black, more of the yellow as well. Lots of blue, yellow, and black. Green, gray mixture. Trying to get this straight takes me a little bit of time to do so. Need this first layer to be quite dark. Don't worry, it's not going to be this dark after we're done with it, but I want this color to be very full and bold. I'm going to be layering other layers on top of it, but I need it to be dark enough to really hold down that farthest point. Grabbing my filbert brush again, here's some titanium white, trying to straighten up the top of this, and slowly, gently blend this together. I've really messed it up. More white. We'll get it fixed. Clean the brush off. Another stroke. More white. Just get it to blend. We'll come back in with some darker mix in a minute.
again trying to make this straight as much as possible. Not my best skill drawing straight lines. When I did it in pencil, I used a ruler, truth be told. You can see that white is already lightening up the darker mix back there, but we do need it to be quite dark. some more of the darker mix, pulling that line straight across, just trying to get it straight. Like I said, it was a gray, stormy day on the ocean, and the sea was so wonderful color was amazing. Here's some brown mix, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, cobalt blue, and titanium white. Mix all your primaries together to get brown, a little bit of white to lighten it up. Lots of red in this brown, kind of a reddish brown color. where I'm having some fun with the colors, sort of pushing the reds, pushing the yellows, far beyond what you probably would expect to see in an ocean, but we'll bring it back by degrees. More yellow, more red, more of an orange, touch more of that green-gray mix, a bit of the blue, a bit of the black, more of a darker brown, touch more of the black and the blue. transitions to a darker color over here, more of a true brown than the red brown before. This is where the sand and the shoreline is. Quick diagonal strokes with my filbert brush. Back to my dark gray and green mixture with my round brush. Almost there, getting straighter. Close enough. Let's dry this layer with a blow dryer. Take about a minute. Going to time lapse through it really quick. Just dry it off. It doesn't have to be perfectly dry either, just to stop it from bleeding quite so much. Let's make a sandy yellow, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, cobalt blue, and white. Lots of yellow. More white on the palette, more yellow. It's much too pink right now. of the blue and a lot more yellow and white okay getting there more white play a lot of this yellow through the layers. Touch more red here. I don't care if I cover up a lot of that blue, we'll bring it back in by degrees. A lot of the sand from this angle was visible, kind of a brown undertone to the piece, so I need that to be there. This is the underpainting at this point. We're going to layer over several layers on top of it, and it won't look quite so stark. Right now, it doesn't look realistic at all, but just wait, be patient, and we'll get it by degrees more and more mm, convincing. I wouldn't say realistic, but convincing. Let's 
is where I'm verging into more of the abstract. Painting what I see in my head and something that I feel is beautiful. Some lighter blue mix here. bring back in some of the blue accents. It is water after all and it reflects the sky, but because I have those warmer colors underneath, it really helps pull the whole thing together. Bringing in some more of the red, being a little fanciful, but that's okay. Back to my green-gray mix and the white with my filbert brush. Lots of the blue there. Acrylic paint is great, it covers up really easily, but it does have an impact. If you have warmer colors underneath, the blue will read it differently. If you just did the blue, it would look quite different. You need the warmer colors for it to become richer looking. Lots of the white and the blue here, starting to put in these ripple lines. If you notice, but my canvas is quite textured today. It's an older canvas that I've gessoed. And I did it very thickly so there would be little fissures and cracks in the actual gesso. It gives it kind of an old world feel to it, like it's a very old painting. Adds certain richness to it, definitely has some dimensionality with the gesso added. Lots of texture. Really like the way this piece turns out. Lots of blue here. But again, you can see that yellow and that red is just poking through. It looks so much more vibrant and interesting than if it was just white and blue. See what I'm getting at? Some darker mix back here at the farthest reaches of the water. It's starting to become more and more convincing, more realistic. Again, I'm keeping this painting very loose. It's not gonna be extremely detailed. I want the colors and the shapes to suggest the form over anything else. More of that sand yellow, bring more of the white in here. Need it to stand out more. Dolly with the black here, it's not quite what I want. I decided it didn't look right, so I'm gonna change it, bring in lots of white and really lighten this up need it to balance the dark in the background. It won't do that if it's too dark. We'll keep playing with it. This is the fun part. Grab that titanium white with a liner brush, and at first I'm just playing with the horizon, but I decided to use this technique for the waves today. Just trying to straighten out a few of the mistakes at the top here with some white. But in a minute you'll see what I do with these waves. They're quite fun. Quick zigzag horizontal strokes on a slight diagonal, merging towards the horizon line. Everything should be kind of converging up on the top left at the horizon line. We're really creating the suggestion of detail. Flecks of white at the tops of these waves out in the distance.
really creating the impression of these rippling tides rolling in. It's a fairly calm day, I remember, here on the ocean. And if you get too much, just play it in and blend it with what's behind and suddenly it'll look a lot better. white over here on the bottom right. Nearly done with this piece. Just gotta add more of these waves in into the piece. I want this to have a quickness to it. The brushwork should be very fluid, very fast. You can see how quickly I'm moving. It should have a little bit of chaos. It shouldn't be too controlled. I more or less know where it's going, but I want it to be sort of free-flowing and fluid. Very organic looking. Not perfect. Messy. More white. We're getting there. We are getting there. One way to make something look lighter is to play the darker mix against it. We'll do so here with the green-gray mixture. Best way to make something pop is to contrast it. So we'll take some of this blue right underneath our waves and that'll give it more dimension, especially through here, really darken this up. Yeah. Great trick. I like how wispy these lines are. Really great. I think I'll hang this painting up in my living room. It'll look great. A little bit more of the titanium white. I want to reflect some of the sky a little bit better in the water. It could be playful, it could be colorful, but it should match a bit more than it does. I'm going to soften that up with a filbert brush, blend it out. There we go. And a bit more of the white and the gray mixture, a little bit lighter with this blue, just softening in a few spots. Back to my liner brush, some more ripples, and we are nearly done. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this painting lesson. I'll be back very soon with another one. Until then, have a great day. Mm -hmm.